Hey, what's going on everyone? Don here and you're watching VR Gamer Dude and today on the channel we're doing something completely cool and different. So we're going to take my Quest 3 into the living room. It's a place that you guys have never seen in the house and uh, we're going to turn it into a world-class aquarium. So I can't wait to show you guys the mixed reality update for Ocean Rift. Let's go. Okay, so here we are. We're ready to go. We're in my living room. So looks like the first thing it wants us to do here is, is it wants us to start drawing some virtual windows using the controllers or my hands. And since I've already got the controllers in my hands, we'll just go ahead and stick with that. Now, it does say that this is best experienced in a four-sided room of three to six meters. Obviously, as you guys can see here, I've got a little architecture going on in my house. So hopefully this is going to work correctly. So the first thing we're going to want to do is, is draw the windows into the ocean as it shows here in the little example. So let's go ahead and start by taking away the door to my studio here. It'll be interesting to see if this actually blocks that out completely where I can't see through that door. And it did. Oh, how cool is that? Oh, wicked. Okay, so now we got turtles swimming in my studio. All right, now I'm just going to like go crazy and just start drawing portals everywhere. This is so cool. Okay, let's go ahead and come over here. Let's take this big window out. Oh, that is so awesome. Okay, let's see if I can change this whole wall. And I can. Oh, neat. Okay, loving this. So, all right. Didn't like that wall so much. It went ahead and drew it, but it looks like with all the pictures and things sticking in the way, it might have been a little bit disorienting for the camera. I guess last we'll do this door over here, and there we go. Okay, so now we've got poor... Well, I want to do one more here. Let me go ahead and see if I can blank out the whole kitchen here. Oh, and I can. Oh, how cool is that? Okay, so now I've got my whole space set up here with portals looking out into the sea. And man, I got to tell you, this is nuts. We, we actually have a world-class aquarium here in Springfield at the Wonders of Wildlife Bass Pro. And, you know, I take my family there all the time. And this is like having it right here in my own home. So, all right, let's go ahead and activate the menu and let's see what else we can do here in Ocean Rift Mixed Reality. So, looks like we've got about six different scenes that we can choose from. Now, I'm not going to do all six of them because, you know, if you just got a Quest 3 for Christmas or if you already had one or have a Quest 2 or Quest Pro, I want you guys to be able to experience some of this for yourself. So we'll probably only pick about two or three of these experiences to show you here today. So let's take a look at some of the settings here, though. So it does look like we have a couple of different settings that we can use. So we'll start here with the pass through. Now, currently I'm in the tinted mode. Now I've gone to grayscale, so I'm assuming this is more kind of like what I would see in the Quest 2. And now our full color pass through. And, and, you know, that really makes me feel like I'm back in my own living room again. So I think we're going to leave it in the color pass through. We can also change the brightness. Very interesting how the cameras can literally make my entire room go pretty much completely dark here. But for the sake of the video, we're going to go ahead and leave that at 100. So it looks like we can also change the styles of the windows. And oh, wow, now they're curved and they have very little bars. Oh, I like that. I like that even better. Now it's just a nice, clear frame out into the ocean. Or we can change them to be oval, kind of like porculus. Porculus? Porculus? Porculus. Port okay. And the cage style that it started with. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave those on the frame. So glow, what does glow do here? Okay, glow looks like it puts a glow outside of the window. Go ahead and put that to 100%. And, ooh, I wonder what skylight does. Whoa. Okay, whoa. That just tied everything together. So my entire ceiling pretty much just became a skylight out into the ocean. 
So, man, I'm not going to lie. If these dogs weren't sitting here on my couch right now, I could lay down in my recliner and just look up at this, put on some, like, chill music and just look at this for hours. So, wow, okay, we're definitely going to leave that on. And VR menu and draw windows. Now, VR menu, this was originally a virtual reality app. In fact, it is one of the original virtual reality apps from back in, like, I think 2017. Uh, I remember first seeing this on the original Vive, I think, was the very first headset that I ever looked at this on. So, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look at a few of these scenes here. So we've got Shallows, Swamp, Jurassic, Depths, Belugas, and our friend, the Shark. So um, I did post a little teaser of this a couple of weeks ago. Everybody was asking me why I didn't show the Shark. Well, I was kind of saving it for this. So we will end with the Shark and we'll choose two other. We'll do half of the experiences here today, and we'll just do them really quickly. So I think let's go ahead and start with hmm, Swamp, Shallows, or Jurassic, or Belugas. Nope, Belugas. I love Belugas. Oh, and there they are. Oh, how cool. Okay, interesting. So it's like it is a 3D space, and he's just coming right up to the window. Oh, how cool. Hey, buddy. Oh, wow. And the way the models move, they're so fluid. I mean, that looks real. Wicked. Okay, now I think I saw somewhere, yes, there, over here it says I can press B to interact. So I wonder what that does. You going to go swim through your hoop or are you just going to sit here and look at me? There you go. Oh, and I can hear them making little whale noises. Oh, cool! And then the hoop explodes into some, like, sea fireworks. <laughs> Very cool. So, all right. Awesome. Okay, so we'll go ahead and move on here, but I got to tell you, I love the belugas. That is so cool. So, let's see here. Hmm. You know, we just watched The Meg 2, and I've always been a sucker for anything with dinosaurs. And my daughter is so, so all about the Mosasaurus. She actually got one for Christmas. So, all right, not a real one, obviously, you know, but uh, let's check out the Jurassic. Okay, everything just got really murky. And whoa. Oh, wow. That is so cool. Oh, whoa, there he is. There's our Mosasaurus. Oh, man, I could just watch this for hours. Like I said earlier, this is just nuts. Like when I was a kid, when I was like little Donnie, like 10 years old, one of my favorite places to go in the whole world was the Natural History Museum in Corpus Christi, Texas, where I grew up. And it was cool because we actually, when you walked into the museum, that was the first thing that you saw. They had a big Mosasaurus just laid out. Uh, in its segments, and this is just wild. So, okay. All right. I think we will go ahead and end things up. Like I said, let's take a look at the shark. Okay. Now we're in some deep, deep murky water here. And where is he? Where is he? Dun dun. Dun, dun. Oh, there he is. Oh, my God, that scared me as I turned around. He was, like, right there over my shoulder. Oh, I love how it swims from one of these windows to in the next. Oh, that is so cool. Okay, he's way out there. It says I can interact with him, too. I wonder what that does. Oh, draw some ham. I'm going to call you Tina. Tina, go get your ham. Come on, Tina. Get it. Get it, girl. There he goes. There he goes. She. Oh, yes. Got that ham. Let's see how much ham I can drop. Oh, it's ham overload. Oh, wow. That's going to be a fat shark. There's like so much ham in the water. It's not even funny. Oh, wicked. And there's even like a little blood that comes out of it. <laughs> Gnarly. Okay. That is so cool. Oh, my kids would have been terrified about this back in the day. They always had this thing about virtual reality sharks. So, all right, 
think we're going to go ahead and stop the video here. We'll go ahead and come out of this and talk about this for just a second. Okay, so that was so freaking cool, guys. I, I got to tell you, I, I love this mixed reality stuff. I've been doing VR and immersive tech for over 25 years, and this is like a breath of fresh air for me. So if you have a Quest 3, if you just got one for Christmas, if you got a Quest 2 or a Quest Pro, and you want to do this for yourself and you haven't seen it yet, I highly recommend it. Go to the link in my description grab a copy of this if you need a headset there's links in the description for those as well you will not be disappointed but for me that is going to do it today i cannot thank you enough if you made it to the end of the video and if this was your first time coming by the channel thank you so much for coming by to check out what i do here at vr gamer dude and if you liked what you saw today do me a solid on the way out the door and go ahead and hit the like smash subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified the next time I do something cool in mixed reality or virtual reality or augmented reality or whatever reality I'm going to be playing in today. But for me, like I said, that's going to do it. I'll see you in the next one. This is Don signing off.